Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Today, we've got 32 mods on our testing list, and we got six modders to talk about, including a brand new semi truck from 82 Studio. Let's check it out. Starting off with our mods and testing. Today, we have 32 mods on the list. 16 are in stage one or PC testing, and 16 are in stage two at console testing. Some notable mods in stage one include the Big US Green Mill, Big Bud Pack, and the John Deere 8R EU series. Also, in stage one of testing, we have Map Alpine. Versatile four-wheel drive tractors and wood shipping container. Jumping down to stage two or console testing, we have a few like assortment of fillable pallets, farm medium pack, and Hagenstead. Rounding out that list, we've got the Lizard 2000 S 2x2 roller mill, Lizard mini bike, service vehicles pack, and the Quebec countryside. With all that being said, we still have 325 mods city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is only 11 days. That's the lowest it's been in a while. Jumping over to Modern News, an 82 studio has released what could be his final new mod for Farming Simulator 22, the TLX Phantom. This monster has four total axles. It's got three in the back, one in the front. Features some new things that haven't been seen on TLX semi-truck models before. And of course, he's doing the whole thing live. You could catch him most Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday evenings on YouTube. And I'm curious, what are some new features that you would like to see added to this truck? Let me know. Next up, Custom Modding's Case H Steiger 715 Quattrack is now with Giants awaiting testing for all platforms. With the waiting times where they are right now, still could be a few weeks before we see it on the list, but we are one step closer to seeing it in game. Speaking of, custom modding appears to be doing a set release date for this mod. If you didn't know, once a mod passes testing with Giants QA, modders can actually choose what day or when they want to have the mod released, or if they can release it right away, which is what 99.9% .9 do. Uh, think about Straw Harvest, for example, it was like that. Pretty cool to see this, and hopefully everything goes according to plan. Still kind of early on. Solutions Modding are updating their Volvo N10 semi truck and adding a couple new features in addition to a new chassis. This is going to be a longer 4x2 chassis it will be compatible with their lizard d14000 beds how cool is that there will also be some new options added to the trunk however solutions bonding have not said what those would be moving on jm garcia dropped a big one over the weekend with a fact sheet on their upcoming monster truck it's modeled after the grave digger and will actually be releasing a pc only version with the grave digger logo on his website later on as for the crossplay version, which is coming to mod over all platforms, this one is, well, with Giants already for testing. So cool. The specs, it's got a 1500 horsepower engine, CVT transmission, 2000 liters of fuel, and weighs 9.1 tons by itself. The truck also features customization options for tires, hitches, exhaust, radiators, winch, flags, front and rear lights, and colors. I should have a preview video of this out in the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. Another way to go off-road will be with Agritono's next project, the KTM 350 EXCF Dirt Bike. Now, of course, KTM is not a licensed brand for Farming Simulator, but that has not stopped Agritono before. This will likely have the KTM logo removed, and they'll add lizard branding to it for all platforms. We don't know much about it right now other than it'll have color options and some tires, but I'm sure we'll see more options for this soon. Agritono have released a lot of mods in Farming Simulator 22, but no dirt bikes. This is definitely a first for them. And lastly for us today, PC Bueller Farms has dropped another weekend update video talking about a few of his mods and testing and future projects. First off, we have a few mods that are on the testing list or with Giants awaiting testing right now. We got the versatile four-wheel drive tractors, diamond disc, an update to the vintage auger pack, and an update to the bulk truck bed pack. These are all still in testing or waiting with Giants. As for projects in the works, we do get to see a sprayer trailer. I'm super excited about this, by the way. And we get to see the fiber dash on the trailer and attached boom in front of that. He's also still got a lot of things to do, like finish up the cage and connect the hoses to everything else. But it's happening. Oh, I cannot wait. And that is it. That is everything I've got for you for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way you never miss videos like this one on the channel. Otherwise, just hope you have an awesome day. We will see you later. Well, unfortunately, there's no Austin Farmer at the end of this one. Gertie chased him out a couple days ago, and he hasn't come back since.